Hi guys, for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a thrift flip. I've done a lot of thrift flips before. I've done like sewing a vintage dress into a normal dress, sewing a shirt into a dress, sewing clothes into other clothes, if that makes sense. So most of my thrift flips in my thrift flip playlist are about sewing. My point here is today we are doing a thrift flip that involves painting. This was actually suggested in the comments of my painting my toilet seat video. A couple of people, like quite a few people, commented for me to paint a lamp. Maybe paint a lamp? Please paint on a lampshade. I really shade. like that lampshade. Maybe shade a lampshade thingy. And I'm not sure why that was the thing that everyone wanted me to paint, but it was quite ironic because I actually had a lampshade already that I was already planning on painting. So that's kind of weird, guys. We're at, like, we're on the same wavelength here. I'm not really sure what's going on. Our minds are like in sync, you know? Um, so let me give you a little info about the lampshade. I am considering this a thrift flip. It was not purchased at a thrift store. This was found in a college dorm hallway um, when I was in college, people would move out every year <laughs> of the dorm and they'd leave their stuff in the hallway. Like they just would throw it out and get new stuff the next year. So I would go around the hallways and just like look for things that I wanted to do an arts and crafts project with or just things that I wanted because everyone was throwing out new stuff. I did leave a hint on my Instagram if you follow me there. Okay, let's start painting. <laughs> Okay, so this is the lamp we're starting off with. It's blue, it has a lot of space to paint. It kind of looks like a spotlight. It's a weird lamp, we'll admit it. It just looks weird, but I'm gonna paint it. And we're bringing in the drawing, the plans. This is, this is the plans. I drew this out, take a good look. I'm never going to show you this again. Just kidding. But I am going to be sticking this into the lamp because I thought I could create for myself like a stencil by turning the lamp on and then drawing through it. And it kind of worked for a little bit, like you could see the drawing and trace it. But the problem is lamps are hot. They get very, very hot. And I started to burn my hand and I also was afraid I was going to start a fire. So I had to turn it off. <laughs> Sorry, mom. So instead of tracing it like a baby, I had to be an adult and redraw it. Very annoying. And now we are bringing in the beautiful paints. Beautiful. Look at them. And I started to paint Maurice, our good, our good pup, our, our dog. Doggy dog, Maurice. I don't know what I'm saying. So the story behind this painting, uh, and there is a story, is here is Maurice. And he usually has his ice cream cone but he has dropped it and it melted everywhere. And as a result of this ice cream melting everywhere, it has caused a rainbow and Maurice has unintentionally caused this whole fiasco that's about to occur. Uh, so we have Riley over there, you can see uh, up there. She's the hip and hoppin' bunny rabbit. She traveled to that uh, concert I was talking about, the Over the Rainbow concert, which I thought of in my last video. So I thought, let's just make, let's make a, a painting based off of that. I don't know why I was just thinking of it a lot. So yeah, Maurice opened the portal and Riley is traveling on the Rainbow Road to get to the Rainbow concert. What? That's basically what I'm saying. I'm adding some shading here because I thought that the ground, we needed some ground, but I also didn't want to paint the whole lamp. And here's the rainbow that's shooting out of the ice cream, the rainbow ice cream. Okay, I was heavily debating including this or not including this. I don't really like to sing in front of people, but I do sing while I paint and I found a clip that I like maybe am okay with, but I'm very soft. Please be nice to me, please. Ah. Wasn't it beautiful? Run wildly, fell asleep. For the monsters caught at you, you. Quite a contrast. I actually was not upset, but I sound upset. Uh, I don't know. So Riley here is touching the rainbow. Notice she is touching the blue part of the rainbow. Skittles taste the rainbow, actually. Touch, touch the rainbow? No. <laughs> that wasn't even a joke, and somehow that's like my favorite joke I've ever made on my channel. I don't know what that says about my sense of humor, but... Uh, okay, so I changed this carrot from a small carrot into a giant one because... <laughs> I thought it looked funny if like the carrot was propping open the rainbow. Uh, let's just paint the rest of the rainbow swirl and I'll get to- I'll explain the story, I guess. Stop. 
stop the music. That is Seaford, my f my favorite, my son. It's so cute. It's so cute. I gotta I gotta stop doing that. Um. Okay. So that is Seaford. He is waving goodbye to everyone that is going down. Well, I guess I gotta explain to you what's actually going on here. Uh. So that is a rainbow swirl. Uh. Bakes, bakes, think of it like a pit of doom, except it's more like a pit of fun. You know, it's a rainbow, rainbow black hole, basically, that everyone is trying to go down, except for Seaford and Maurice. Okay, I'm just gonna cut myself off there. This does not sound fun, and I am certainly Seaford in this scenario. I would not be going into the pit of fun. Uh, so that is my little koala friend. There's Marge. She's sliding down the rainbow. Everyone wants to attend this Over the Rainbow concert. I suppose I should have called it, like, Under the Rainbow, though, or, like, Inside the Rainbow concert. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta workshop the name of this concert, but, uh, yeah. So this is Marge. We're painting Marge. That's her tie-dye. Nis. We all know what she looks like at this point, I think. So, yeah. Moving on from Marge, we are going into Elliot. So, Elliot, I'm not quite sure if he's attending the concert or not. He seems a little bit hesitant to me. But he is helping our koala family, Coco and Bubbles. And who knows, he might just fall into the, the pit of fun. Okay, moving down towards the rope that Coco is hanging on. You know, this is, this is, I think she, she wanted to go to the concert, though. This isn't, she's not being forced, you know. I think my concept was she was trying to safely go down while her child, Bubbles, was excitedly going down. But now in hindsight, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking that maybe it looks like Coco is just trying to rescue bubbles. I'm not quite sure what's happening, and I apologize if anyone's getting upset here. Uh, okay, so we have Maurice. Here I'm adding the shading to Maurice and some of the highlights as well. I added his little bow tie, I added his nose, his mouth, um, the little paint splats that are on him, everything about him except his eyes. And then I moved on to Riley's shading as well, and I added her like little like what is it? Her rainbow that's on her shirt, and I also added the rainbows that are on her giant carrot. Obviously drawn to size here. That's very accurate uh, for real life. And then I thought, just in case anyone forgot where this concert is, I haven't said it enough times. Uh, it's, it's over the rainbow. I moved on to the eyes, and this is where tragedy struck us again. Uh, I did the eyes fine on Maurice, like this is fine. And then Riley happened. It was honestly fine. I just painted over it and redid it. I, I don't know why I made that so dramatic. I just love the drama, you know. Okay. Ah, she's so cute again. Okay. And then we're adding the eyes to Coco and Seaford. And I feel like I need some music here because it's just, look, they're all coming to life. I feel like uh, Pinocchio with the, the guys just bringing them all to life. Look at them. They all of a sudden have a face and you're like, wow, look at it. Those are some leaves, those are not faces. I don't know why that's in this this segment, but oh, there's the eyes again, and wow, it just looks like they're so alive. Look at the, nice. Okay, so now it's time for me to outline things. I outlined that, oh, that's a cookie. I took a break to eat a cookie, that is accurate. Okay, so I started outlining things in black, and this brought everything together. I love the outlines. Just wait until everything is outlined because when it, when half of the stuff is outlined, you start to question, why did I outline things? And it starts to look really bad like that. But I mean, after all the outlining is done, then you go, wow, I'm so glad I outlined this. It's always really stressful though. At first, you're always like, I kind of, I kind of hate this. And then we're adding the highlights. This made it look like balloons right there, which I really appreciated. I think that looks cute. 
And the last thing I quickly added was some like twinkly things, stars. Why do I never know the name for stars? Um, I added those because I thought it made the rainbow look more magical. And this is the final thing. Let me know what you guys think about this thrift flip. I am a little unsure if I like it. I feel like I like it, probably. Yeah, I think I like it. Okay, so this is the final lampshade. We have the front out and the back. Front, back. Uh, there are certainly elements to this lampshade that I enjoy. For instance, I really like this thing that's going on. Um, as a whole, I'm not quite sure if I'm sold on it, but I, I think I like it. <laughs> yeah, and that's all I have to say about that. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys like the lampshade, this thrift flip. And also let me know in the comments if there's any other random items that you think I should paint. Um, I'm trying to think of more ideas of like random things that I could paint and I'd appreciate your suggestions. And that's the end of the video, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. I put out new videos every Sunday at 2 p.m. And I'd love to see you next time. Bye. <laughs> and of course, we have the shout outs. Okay, so we have a decent amount of shout outs this week. We have Victoria Mora. Hi. We have Paratito. Parat Paratito. Parat Paratito. I don't know how you say that. We have Lori, we have Michaela, Shira, Get Crafty, let's get crafty, uh, Bryn, Yareth, Iandrilla, and Areen. Hi guys, I hope I said all of your names right. I apologize very strongly if I didn't. I am trying my best. I also have really bad handwriting. If you would like a shout out in next week's video, all you have to do is follow the directions that are in the description box of this video and I'll give you a shout out next week. And that is the real end of the video, guys. Goodbye.